Welcome to the Palouse. We're at Pullman, Washington for some Pac-12 hoops on this late Saturday afternoon in the Pacific Northwest. Arizona State, Washington State at Beasley Coliseum this afternoon, along with Corey Williams and our ESPN crew, Roxy Bernstein with you from Beasley Coliseum. Andre Yakimovsky, the floater, gets the roll. Arizona State plays that four out, one in. And they give you a lot of action that you have to respect right there. They made a guy cut, knocked down the three. Same play for the Cougars at the other end. They dive a guy right down the lane. Great ball action. Block shot from Adrame Jong on Luther Muhammad. And the ball belongs to the Cougars. Talk about decisions, and that's not a good one. Bringing it right to the big fella, and then you see the turnover. Well, as a team, they're 36% on the year. You mentioned they make the most threes per game in the Pac-12. Step back from T.J. Bamba, and he hits the three, and Washington State takes the lead. And that's the craziness of it. The one dribble step back goes. Here's Powell, open. Got this one, and Washington State seesaws in front. You see the offensive action for the Cougars. Down low for Devin Cambridge. And he's denied by Justin Powell. Six on the shot clock for the Sun Devils. Shot clock rolling down. Justin Powell. Three. Third three for Powell. Patience, execution, unselfish play for the Cougars. Shot clock inside 10. Andre Yakomovsky, three. I mean, the secret is out. I don't understand what the Sun Devils are doing. You have to run these guys off the three-point line. Yakomovsky again. Three more. Andre Yakomovsky as the Cougs' last five shots have been threes. In the immortal words of DJ Khaled, Another one. Frankie Collins in the hustling. Dylan Darling knocked it away from behind. You know how dangerous the Sun Devils are in transition, but you get in there with the hustle, give your team a chance to set up their half-court offense. And here comes T.J. Bamba for the Cougs. Bamba to the basket. The follow, Muhammad Gay. So the Big 12 coming off that Big 12 SEC challenge this weekend as Warren Washington swatted that one, but Muhammad Gay cleans it up. Cougars have made six threes. Plus they forced seven Arizona State turnovers. Andre Yakomovsky. That makes it seven three-pointers for Washington State. Timeout, Bobby Hurley. And Arizona State comes away with it, didn't give himself an angle. Nice job, Warren Washington running the floor, but then he's swatted by Muhammad Gay. DJ Rodman and a block counted at one. An amazing sequence depending on which team you're a fan of. There you see the defense, Washington rejected again. Frankie Collins gets back, is he set? The officials say no, he's not set. Counted and won. Bobby Hurley is irate. And just the fifth team foul, so they didn't put him in the bonus yet. Mohamed Gay launching a three. When you shoot that many threes, you're not going to go to the foul. No, and you're right. You've got to play a team to their weaknesses, and the Cougars aren't necessarily a two-point team. As you see, Powell with the deep two, a step back on the freshman as the clock wound down. Kamani Winsu right back in ASU. Really, there has to be the urgency for Washington State considering after today, they're headed to L.A. playing ST and UCLA on the road. It's Kamani Winsu attacking the rack. That's how you have to bring it in Pac-12 basketball. We've seen so many games, guys go in there with the finger roll and get it rejected. Take it in and drop the hammer. The athleticism from Winsu. 
Luther Muhammad. Knocked away by Winsu. Last touch by Muhammad. Arizona State turns it over. You beat your man off the bounce. Guys are late. You get your steps and the rim rocker. Big time. Take off with confidence and strength. Nobody wanted any parts of that. A couple of guys might have been in that poster, whether they wanted to be or not. Here comes Austin Nunez, Frankie Collins, and it's denied by Kamani Winsu. Five to shoot. Austin Nunez drives. Nunez and a shot clock violation. Turnover by ASU. Andre Yakamovsky. Kamani Winsu, Yakamovsky wide open in the corner. Three. Great recognition. He had the penetration, he had the three, he had the jumper, but the best thing he had was his buddy in the corner. Powell. Hit the three over Warren Washington. Season high tying 17 for Justin Powell. Justin Powell, line drive three. Six threes for Powell in season I-20. And the hits keep coming for the Cougars. Powell missed a three, but Andre Yakimovsky, the offensive rebound and put back. And he's tied a career high with 19. On the drive, TJ Bamba draws the foul and one. The best possible outcome from the Cougars and the absolute worst for the Sun Devils. Bamba knows what's up right off the dribble, takes the smaller defender, and then is able to pinball his way into some contact. From here on out, the Sun Devils have to make their own luck, find a way to get some wins and get back onto that bubble. 14 threes, Andre Yakimovsky from outside the arc. Falls off and the final 75 58 Washington State. Could snap their three game losing streak, their 10th win of the season. ASU has dropped four in a row.